Hello, hello. Today I'm going to be making Serbian cornbread, which is also called Srpska proja. And I am going to just get right into it. Uh, the station here has a lot on it, but that'll be remedied very quickly. So I'm going to spray my 8x8 and set it aside. Okay. So, oven is preheating to 350 degrees. And now I'm just going to whisk the dry ingredients. So that's cornmeal. I have baking powder. And I have salt. It's important to make sure that all of your things are around. Like it says whisk, so I have my whisk because some things, not this particularly, but some things are time sensitive. So it's nice to just have everything there and not be stressing about it. Okay. You know what, looking at this and this bowl from mixing everything together, my husband and I joke that you never complain that a bowl is too big and that you have too much room to mix. So I'm going to just go right ahead and swap it out for the bigger bowl. And it'll make life easier in the end, I'm sure. Okay. So we have the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients, eggs, three eggs, and like I had done before, I put the oil in with the eggs, so it's all in one bowl. Right. Let's see, and the water. So this one is really cool because it's actually carbonated water. So we hmm, have a soda stream, and I just bubbled up some water. So let's see, one and a half cups. Recently started making chicken tempura like you get at the Chinese restaurants uh, for a family. And this is one of my favorite things is using the carbonated water because it makes it so fluffy and it's really fun. Okay, so have that. Now, man, this is gonna be nice and easy. Okay, mix it all together. And if you can see, bubbles. So this is gonna add a lot of air and lightness to it. If you can see, okay, there we go. Okay, it's mixed, I'm just having fun now. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take the dry ingredients and add them in. With this kind of thing, I usually like to do just a little bit at a time. Uh, some recipes say, you know, up to 10 minutes you can take adding a tablespoon at a time. This one doesn't, but I don't have time for that sometimes. So I'll just do little bits. And you also don't get as many clumps that way. It's just a lot smoother because you're not fighting the liquid getting into the dry ingredients and creating those clumpy things that you have to try to whisk. and. This is cornmeal, so it's not really going to overmix in the same way. But if you're doing flour, then it's good to add it in little by little because some things you have to be really careful about not overbeating because when you overbeat flour, it turns into cakey and not bready texture. Okay, there's that. So we have, looks like cornmeal. Oh, it smells nice. It smells light. Okay, now we're going to crumble in the feta. Kind of chop the feta up with a spoon, but a little bit more. And it doesn't say to whisk this. It's probably get all caught in the whisk. So I'm just gonna put in the feta. And just kind of mix it in. I don't want to do it too crazy because I want to keep the air that has been created in there, but kind of folding it a little bit. Folding is going underneath, around the side, bringing it up over the top. And so you're not compressing the air bubbles that have been created. You're just kind of bringing the bottom up and over. And that looks great. You can see the little bits of feta in there. All right. Now we transfer to our 8x8. Alright. 
and I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. All right, going in 350 degrees oven for 30 to 35 minutes. See you then. Okay, the timer for the cornbread just went off, so it now says to broil it for two to three minutes. So I'm just going to change this to broil. And I will swap it down to the bottom. So I have a, a gas oven, so it does not have the broil on the top. It has an actual broiling drawer underneath. So I'm going to move it down into that drawer. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Oh wow, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's gorgeous. See the little flakes of the feta in there? really excited for this. So then I'm going to let it broil. Um, I'll take it out, let it cool, and then um, we'll cut it open. It is time for our teeth test. So this went under the broiler. It's cooled down considerably. I'm able to touch it with my hands, so. Um, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Crispy on top. Uh, so let's cut into it and see what it's like. Ooh. That's nice. Alright, get this out of here. Hmm, okay. Honey, you want to come try? It's really hot. But. Okay. Here you go. Cheers. It's kind of dry. But they did say that you serve this with like wet things, cottage cheese, that kind of thing. The fit is nice salty though. That's where I'm getting tang from. The feta? The feta. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize there was feta in this. That's nice, a nice touch. Mm -hmm. All right. That's cool. Um, this would be really good crumbled up on chili. Really good. Because you'd have the moisture from the chili. So I'm having a hard time <laughs> chewing and talking. <laughs> Um, this was fun and it was really fast and easy. Um, cool. All right. Thanks for joining me this week and, uh, I'll see you next week.